Okay, hello everyone. This is just part two of the investigation three through five overview. So we left off with me telling you if you needed to find the teacher's guide, which is not what I meant. I meant the teacher's answer key. You can find that on the fossweb.com site. So you would go to lab notebook answers and click it and it would bring you over to my computer's a little bit slow. All of the, your answer sheets are here. This would also be in your binder, um, but I would definitely highly recommend that you do all of the worksheets before the kids do, rather than with them, because you know that you need to understand it before you're able to ex explain it to them. So in investigation for we were just talking about them noticing the difference between a position graph and a distance graph, and they have practice here. So here's your position graph, and you'll notice they started at home and went home, and then here is your distance graph. And then with this, the main idea of D is the idea that this is a straight line, so they're not moving. Um, Another key idea. So they do another sheet, very similar, same D, same idea, a little left scaffolding. And then they get into leisurely walks. This is an activity that this is an active activity that the students do. I do this as a whole class demonstration. I have a smaller class, so I'm able to do this. But I found that when I let the kids do it totally by themselves, Collecting the data was a bit of a nightmare, so now we do it more of a demonstration where I have students help out with the data collection. I would recommend that. This last part, um, road trips, is really tricky for the kids. I would, at the very beginning, just have the kids read it. Give them a few minutes. Don't allow any talking time for at least 10 minutes. Let them work through it. Tell them that they should write a, they should draw a, a, a diagram of the story. Have them write down the different legs. The answer key will show you that there are four legs. In my classes, we have decided that we really thought that it was six legs because they stopped at the gas station twice and we called those specific legs. You decide what you want to do, but my students argued for it and it made sense. What's tricky about this is it's kind of two parts. So they tell this story and then they say, oh, actually that's not how it went. So they have to piece together a lot of information. So this is as much a reading activity as anything else. So it's really important that you walk them through it. Um, in this investigation, there is some reading and there's some multimedia. Again, decide if you feel the reading is right for your students or not. And then finally, investigation five is all about acceleration. And the main idea in this investigation is you, they need to understand that acceleration is the change of speed per unit of time. So they also do an investigation where they figure out that as a, an object is going down a hill, it's accelerating and picking up speed. Um, they'll use mechanical and electronic dock cars. I have never used the electronic dock cars. Again, we did not have access to the computers in my classroom. One year that we did, it was not working for me, so I've always done the dock cars mechanically. And here it's very equation-based again. So there is some more lab notebook practice, and then there is an active investigation. And that is all for today.